what is going on crew this video we have some parts that we're going to be putting on maryland let's go <laughs> Today we are going to be ripping off the throttle body and putting on a new throttle body. We're going to be putting on a 92 millimeter throttle body. Right now she has a 102 millimeter throttle body and that is just way too big for all this being stock. It is just way too much air, not enough fuel. And so we're just gonna downgrade it to a 92. And that's still bigger than the stock one. The stock one is a 75. But when we first started getting all the parts together for the motor to go in to Maryland, I did not want this drive-by wire. So I bought the 102 millimeter and converted it to drive-by cable just to get rid of this. But now it's time to upgrade it. We have a mini spool. So both those tires can light up and make a sweet smoke show instead of just one. Right now, she's just a one legger for Marilyn. But we'll swap that out. And then also I was thinking of removing this from the fender well and going into the truck with it. I'm just not for sure if we can take this off and we can go this way or come in through here and come out and make it back here. I'm pretty sure when I got the wire harness made, it was long enough to go that far, but we're gonna find out and swap it all up. But for now, we're gonna start with the throttle body and pull the throttle body off and put this one on. This one all shiny look at it let's see all right come on So there she is, 92 millimeter. With that throttle body, it idles good, it drives good. I just think it's way too much air for all the stock injectors, but listen to it. <laughs> shuts down it sucks a lot of air in I don't know why but let's change it out all right she's off look at this thing that is massive Here's what we're putting on her. So crazy. Hey, and here's the stock one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be much better. Still bigger than that one. 
by like 20 millimeters or so. But here's the adapter. You gotta get this adapter. If you're gonna do this to the 8.1, you have to get the adapter because the stock one is only three bolts and all these LS throttle bodies are four bolts. So that's what that helps, but look at that. I'm thinking we are gonna need a new intake. Even with the bigger air going in, that still funnels down like nothing. New intake, new heads, turbo. Bunch of new parts in the future, I'm telling you. For now, just the simple ones. Let's put it back on, fire it up, make sure it has no codes, and make sure it runs good. Throttle body is on now. Everything's together. I just got to get a plug for this one. Get a plug for that. It's all on. But let's fire her up. I don't know what that noise was. No check engine light. I don't know about that. That sounds crazy. We're gonna have to go drive it, see what it sounds like. I don't know why it's making that noise.
what it is. That is horrible. And then that squeak noise. I don't know what that squeak noise is. Listen. That only happens after it hits the temperature of 192. Then that squeak noise happens. I don't know why. Sounds pretty crazy, so I gotta see what the hell that noise is that that throttle body makes. Cause that is not normal at all. That is annoying. And if anybody has any idea what the 8.1 squeak noise is, let me know, cause I cannot figure it out. There's no metal in the oil. There's nothing funky like that. When the squeak's there, it still runs good, drives good. Still does. As I'm sitting here messing with the truck, more parts showed up. Let's look at, look. Rear shackles. That should lift it up an inch and a half should bring this up a little a little better than what it is I don't like how it's sitting like that I know I got to drop the front end but I don't want to drop it a lot so we're gonna lift the back end inch and a half should look pretty sweet then we'll drop the front end I just don't know what to do yet with it throttle body is on Maryland's turned around time to throw the shackles on to get her up off that ground a little bit and then let's see what she looks like look at this poor tire that's all from them right there right there they're gonna be they're gonna be no good here shortly I'm gonna have to get another set. Should make it quite a bit. Shackles are on now. That was kind of a pain in the butt by myself. Needed one person over there, one over here. Luckily, we have the jack right there. Help. But if you're gonna do this, and if you're right here, these the hardware was way too long for the stock. They were hitting these brackets right here. So I just took a grinder and cut it. Now there's plenty of room for it to go back and forth. Gonna put the drive line back on and put the wheels back on and see what she looks like. Hopefully that's the right way with those because if not, it's gonna be super low. All right. Jack stands are out of the way. We're gonna lower it and check it out together let's see all right here we go guys there we go oh let's pull it out to the road it is higher let's pull it out to the road first Let's see.
All right. Okay, it lifted it up a little bit. Not as much as I thought, but it's not so squatting anymore. So I'm not gonna have to worry about whistle and diesel coming to pick it up and smashing it. So I think we are okay. That's where we cut. Looks like it's gonna clear perfect. Oh yeah, it actually came up a lot. This was like way down here. Did you just say whistle and diesel is gonna come and smash it? Nope, that's why we made it not squat now. Oh. There we go. So he doesn't? So he doesn't. There we go, looks good. So we did the throttle body, the lift shackle on there, one and a half inches, with the drop, the axle flip, I think it looks a lot better with it lifted up instead of the five inches down. Now we're going to just drop the front about an inch or so with either big block springs or spindles. I'm not for sure yet. I think spindles are only two and a half inches, but I'll have to look again. And I think that is going to wrap this video up. Next video, we will switch the ECU. We'll put it underneath the seat hopefully and i think we have the parts to add the oil pressure line to hook it up to the stock gauges i got all the brackets and i think we're waiting just for the sensor to come in after that we'll put it in so if you're still here smash that subscribe button share the page help us hit that 1k we are so close to it until then peace out we appreciate all the support Later.